everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2020 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 17. And this question is the last question in this PSLE 2020 Paper 2 question series. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 17. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's move on to question 17. Okay, this is question 17 and this question is testing us on part whole concept. Okay, let's read the question for part A first. Mrs. Wu spent one sixth of her money on a dress and two blouses. The dress costs three times as much as each blouse. Okay, Mrs. Wu spent three quarter of her remaining money on a watch. She spent $220.50 more on the watch than on the dress. Part A. What fraction of her money did Mrs. Wu spend on the blouse? So on a blouse, that means one blouse, okay? So let's highlight the key information. So she spent one sixth of her money on one dress and two blouses. A dress means one, okay? So I'm going to replace a with one, okay? After that, the dress costs three times as much as a blouse okay so the dress costs three times as much as each blouse mrs wu spent three quarter of her remaining money on a watch she spent 220.50 more on the watch than on the dress okay part a what fraction of her money did mrs wu spend on one blouse a blouse means one blouse Okay, so we know that one dress costs three units, right? So that means one blouse should cost one unit. And we can find two blouses because in the first one, there's two blouses over here. So it should be two units. So we basically know one dress plus is equal to two blouses, which is equal to five units, right? So one dress plus two blouses is equal to five units, okay? So this is basically what is over here. So this five units actually represent one over six. Okay. Okay. But when you're writing it in exam, write it like this. Okay. So, so five units is one over six, right? So in order to find the fraction for one blouse, so one unit is one blouse, right? So one blouse is equal to one over six divided by five units right so it's actually we should use something called keep change flip which is basically keeping one over six changing divide into times and flip five into one over five okay in a whole number if like five right it's actually always over one and when you flip it becomes one over five okay so I hope you understand this. Okay. So you do that. After that, you'll get an answer of 1 over 30 as the answer for part A. Okay. Now let's move on to part B. And I hope you understood part A. Okay. So this is part B. Let's read the question first. How much money did Mrs. Wu have at first? Let's highlight. How much money Mrs. Wu have at first? At first. At first it is 5 over 6, right? At first it is 6 over 6. We need to find 6 over 6. But there's actually a problem. See, this, this uh, watch, right? We do not know the price of the watch. So, what we should do is try to find the price of the watch. The watch is basically 3 quarter of a remaining money, right? The watch is 3 quarter of a remaining money. So in order to find the watch, we know her remaining money is 6 over 6 minus 1 over 6, which is 5 over 6. So we take 3 quarter times 5 over 6, okay, which will give us 5 over 8. And in order to find one dress, I'm going to take 1 over 30 times 3. Because one blouse is one unit and one dress is three units. So I'm going to times 3, which will give me 1 over 10. And I know that the watch is more than the dress. So basically, I'm going to take 5 over 8 minus 1 over 10 which will give me 21 over 40. And we know that the watch costs $220.50 more than the dress, right? So basically 21 units is $220.50. And 
and so we must find one unit always right i've told you always find one unit so when we find one unit we take 220.50 divided by 21 which will give us ten dollars and fifty cent so this is one unit and we need to find six over six which is also equal to 40 over 40. so we find 40 units so 40 units is equal to ten dollars fifty cent times 40 which will give us $420 as the answer for part B. Okay, so I hope you understood my explanation for this question, question 17. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!